this? Mustang ponies and a racetrack I can't name. You know what track this is? Is that Le Mans? Look at down there, that is Le Mans. That's cool. So is this a seventh gen pony or a sixth gen? Ooh, pop quiz, Chris. Chris. <laughs> like, no. to... It hasn't changed. <laughs> no, the pony has remained consistent across generations. When they did the contest for this badge, he literally carved it out of wood. Jim is always so impressive with his knowledge. It's yeah. like... And those are the stories that make Mustang Mustang. Happy holidays. This looks amazing. What a great holiday meal. It is. To celebrate amongst Mustang fans. Thank you. So, Ed, can you tell us how much horsepower the new Mustang has yet? <laughs> uh, not yet. I'm waiting on a text. We're going to do a real time. Right when the data comes in, we're just going to keep eating. The seventh gen Mustang is a modern interpretation of just a mega icon. When you look at the front end of the 64, it kind of has a horizontal brow across the front, and it creates this very strong graphic. And if you can kind of imagine a bodybuilder that comes across like that, with a strong, like strong man muscles. And that represents the power and performance that this car is known for. That's so cool. If you've noticed, it's got that beautiful classic Mustang silhouette. We've actually extended part of that back deck, and that actually really helped with aero as well. From an aerodynamic perspective, you get perfect attachment of the air coming back off that back glass down through the deck loop. That affects it so much. I feel like the biggest thing you face during these races, whether you're a Daytona road course, which you think, oh, road course, air doesn't matter as much, whatever. No, it does. It definitely <laughs> does. But what type of horsepower are we talking about, Ed? <laughs> like, neither come in yet? That hasn't come in yet. All right. All right. So maybe we could like plug in the phone into the new seventh generation Mustang and have it pop up right across the top of it. <laughs> On the big display. And I think a digital experience in the seventh generation Mustang is right up there with performance. You've got two large displays. You've got the cluster and the center stack. When you sit in it, you just have like this command center like right. focused at you. It's a jet fire cockpit, right? Everything yeah. is tilted at the driver. Everything you need and want right at your fingertips. You know, we wanted to put a lot of technology into the vehicle and it was fun to just integrate like, a video game engine into the center stack displays. I also do love the Fox Body throwback gauge, gauge cluster. It's yeah. pretty sick. Could we do more clusters in the future? I would like to design one. Oh, okay. So, so like, since it's like the gaming thing, can I dial up my driver skill on there? Right, really. Why don't you make it buy an upgrade? <laughs> They have just got a horsepower update. We got a horsepower update? We got the horsepower update. All right, so on the GT, we're ringing the bell at 486. 486. Horsepower. Most powerful Mustang GT ever. Most powerful V8 in its class. Really? What do we think about that? That's pretty amazing. Our engine team is phenomenal. I agree with that. As soon as you fire it up, it's certainly going to wake you up. That's for sure. Why the dark horse? Right? 100 horsepower per liter, 500 horsepower. By far and away the most powerful nationally aspirated V8 we've done. He's just That's a pretty good one. <laughs> Many of our competitors are saying the days of the V8 are over. We're saying not even close. So you think with that type of horsepower, you could even train me to do drifting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the V8, it is about power and performance. Getting into a Mustang, you feel like you're getting into an actual like race car. It's so fast, and you start it up, and it sounds so good. So how excited are we then? No. I've just remote started. I love this party trick right now. It's just like, holy. <laughs> is that amazing or what? It is pure adrenaline. Yeah. You can just set the quiet, folks. We don't like to wake up our neighbors, right? No, it's the best part. <laughs> well, <laughs> so wake up the neighbors. <laughs> when I start up a Mustang, it definitely wakes up everyone in the neighborhood. <laughs> wake up. Mustang has those things that you don't expect. Drift no. break. Oh, we're doing a drift break. If you ever think a million years, we'd be at Ford. Testing handbrakes. Setting up electric handbrakes for drifting. Drifting has been a passion and been such a huge part of my life for tw almost 20 years. So I just can't wait for people to, to feel it like it's sick. The funnest distance between two points, 
up in sideways. You got a party trick. I got a party trick, OK? All right. Bought my own personal Mustang. Have you seen that yet? It's only right if our pie is drifting. Brup. Look at that. That's okay, Chris. That's pretty close. Oh, it's a little nice. more angle than that. Not, a little more angle. Not, a little more angle. I'm going to take a photo of this. Yeah. Here we go. Hello, agro, forestry, quarry, road equipment and other types of large transport. As well as their repair and maintenance. All this you will see on my channel. Subscribe and be the first to know.